when anyone acquainted with uh, what you know on the on this level of life as philosophical and metaphysical studies will consider you a consummate uh, literalist philosopher or metaphysician and uh, what you what, what you what you teach people let's call it the new philosophy or the new philosophy uh, Yet you say you are not espousing any philosophy. Now, so how can you how can you explain the dis discrepancy between what you say and what everyone uh, and what everyone who has some knowledge of uh, what is termed philosophy uh, knows? Uh, so there is a, a discrepancy between your proclamation as. Uh, not belonging, not not exposing any philosophy. Uh, yet, uh, when people uh, people study it uh, from another angle, it looks like you're, you're one of the highest, if not the highest, philosopher or metaphysician who uh, who lives. So, how can you explain this discrepancy to somebody? That becomes fun, doesn't it? Actually, Charles, and that's a good question, and people will really want to understand it better, and that is is that anything we create is a theory. Okay, so we even see it in the movies sometimes when, you know, the little mad scientists are inventing something. And, uh, you know, I'll use uh, the Shadow movie as an idea. When the Shadow, as Alec Baldwin, comes to the Chinese guy and his uh, little laboratory, and they're talking about beryllium, okay, and uh, a possible atomic bomb and all this stuff. Again, see, they're talking about theory. So, in other words, until it's actually taking place, until you actually explode the bomb, uh, it's a theory, is what it is. And so, uh, and up to that point, even though they put it together, you got the bomb, it's loaded in the plane, you know, it's all theory. It's really like a philosophy. It's, it's an idea. Philosophy is an idea, is simply ideas. That's all created ideas. So we call them, we categorize them as philosophies and theory. They're really the same thing. Belief, etc. Until it's an actuality. And so the same with what is being presented here. That's why, uh, yes, people can say that, oh, okay, he's a philosopher or whatever. But actually, I create reference is what I do. Yes, I'm a, I'm a reference creator, you might say. It's kind of funny. Well, that's, I'll just use that for now. All right, that's not a matter of fact. But that's what I do. And I, and I have explained many times that, uh, you know, it's like, it's like what Paul wrote, and now it's, uh, and then he created the Chariot book, and then what they did is they, they upgraded, uh, at a certain point, Darwin or Harold or whoever, Joni, they upgraded the book to have, you know, uh, you know, gold ends on the pages, like the Bible, they copied the Bible, and then, then they started, then they upgraded the whole idea of it, in other words, they marketed it, and they sold it for about $150, something like that, $100, $150, and it's the same writings that were like 10 or 12 bucks in Paul's days, it's all the same stuff, uh, the chariot one and two as an example, but now it's all of a sudden, uh, because you got a bigger price range, it's the sacred holy works, and these are sacred writings. Gee, what's the difference between the original book and the new book here? It, it, except that it costs more money, but now it's got this label that it's sacred on it. Again, these are just uh, these are just uh, ideas. It's marketing, is what it is, and so uh, I don't see my what I'm referring to. Uh, it is special in its own way, but it's it's really very simple, and all it can be. I'm just being I'm just being honorable with it. Re really, I am, and that is it. It can just be a reference, even though people may say philosophy or whatever. But this is where people don't recognize uh, 
truly they think they do because they're literal they think they recognize but and so it's easy to put things in categories but uh, no it has nothing to do with that because that's theory and it is in its own way theory or philosophy until the individual actually does it and they find out that oh yes it already is you see so this is the difference between creation and the isness the isness already is and whatever is created in creation yes it is theory until it is proven to the literal mind that is the process you see so it's just like the courtroom you know it uh, it becomes so it doesn't really become a uh, a judgment until it's proclaimed in the courtroom so it's a slam dunk so the same thing uh, with what is presented here in the physical creative sense and so in creation you cannot you cannot uh, with creation you cannot prove okay you cannot prove the isness with creation you can refer to it but you cannot prove it this is where each person proves it to themselves and so this is the old way that it goes and it's just very real everything is actually everything is that uh, we just go off of what is created out there so we create an idea like building a house at first it's theory when you're looking at the blueprints it's theory it's a philosophy is what it is oh this is a nice idea oh I like your idea see it's just an idea but when the house is built it becomes an actuality because it's a physical thing it only becomes an actuality according to the physical realm that's really what it is and this is where you know the different so-called levels are defined accordingly so that people wake up but in this world for the most part uh, people are one-dimensional they just see physical phenomena so it's easy to say it's theory you know so again it's like Harry coming up the coastline you know they theorize or they they give the idea that okay it's coming here it's going there let's see where it goes let's see what it's going to do just like before it produced they're sitting there waiting well let's see what's going to do if it's if it's going to become a hurricane you see it's in the theory stage yeah it's in the theory stage and so these ideas uh, you know like Paul he was you know he was uh, supposedly guilty of plagiarism well which he did he did all these funny things in creation creation's funny this is where we have fun with it it's all funny and these labels they're all funny uh, I've just simplified it it's all reference really is all it is it's not this or that it's not sacred uh, and tradition oh gee that's a burden people think tradition is some kind of sacred ritual to go through when really all you're doing is taking on more burden of old nonsense that probably should have never been created you know so again uh, yeah these ideas etc well then I've been called worse than that that's actually nice and we all have we've we've all been there we all go through this process anybody that even presents anything to the world uh, even the silly stuff we went through in high school with, that we argued about, you know. Uh, so you have all kinds of things going on. But realistically, uh, these are references. And again, I haven't copyrighted anything. You know, these words that I use, I don't own them. You know, when the, pil when the pilgrims came over here, they didn't own the land the Indians didn't own the land they were on the land they were utilizing it again like we're utilizing what's taking place here but then the Europeans which was you know they used the pilgrims as the front the bankers were behind all this they created all the wars etc the British the Revolutionary War and uh, all these things they created all that stuff that was just the marketing ploy to get people to get established here and to take things over and then to push the Indians aside that was all a takeover yeah that's this really how what's taking place so uh, these ideas that and I, I have fun looking at things differently and so again I don't own any of these things I don't own any of these ideas anybody can utilize them but there is one important factor here and that is intent you see Joni they use my stuff you know they use what I've written but it's not mine 
You know, it's available to everybody. But you see, the thing is, it won't work for them because of their intent. See, that's the real ingredient is the intent and the awareness. They don't have the awareness. They don't have the intent. And so it won't work for them. They can use the words. They can use the same words. I use the the and the this and the that's. You know, it's all held together by, uh, you know, because or but or at or of or whatever. You you look at all these little words that hold the other words together. You see, the, the so-called principal words or the prime words in a sentence. But we all use those words. We just simply rearrange them. So at what point is, is a document sacred? Is it because of the rearrangement of the words or whatever? It's nonsense. It's all nonsense. And so here becomes the adventure to actually really expose this nonsense so people can finally wake up and see past the nonsense. Yeah, and that's the real risk taker position. How many people will do that? How many people have the courage to do that? You know, just to be real and wonderful. And so that's us. So getting back to all this stuff, no, uh, I create reference to the isness. That's what I create. Yes, and uh, the new man or the Dwayne the Great Writer, that's just a reference. That's a reference to somebody. We, we got to reference something. Okay, so we reference that. Uh, Harold has claimed himself, like the Pope and the President, they're the kings of the world. They're the kings of their kingdom and domain. See, that becomes different. They have become the authorities. I'm not the authority here. I'm the guy who has created the reference uh, to the true reality life is. See? And the reason that they don't deal with it because they're afraid and they don't have the awareness to do it. But most of all, they're afraid. And that's why the world is self-destructing because those who have decided to control the world they're afraid that everybody else is going to outdo them. So what they do is they create deception and destruction, and they keep it going. And you get so many people to agree to it. Well, voila, everybody's destroying themselves because everybody is afraid to step up and be real and honorable. It's that simple. It's so simple. And everything is for everybody. But there are certain people that want it all for themselves. And so they're afraid that others will get it, so they create all this distortion. And so, yes, uh, what I'm presenting is revolutionary according to the distortion, but it's just a reference. And yes, it is a theory and it is a philosophy until the individual activates it and utilizes it for themselves. And then as we are here for those that step up and recognize each other, that's the process. It's so cool, isn't it? It is that recognition that's very important. Very important. And then to be the risk taker. You know, step up and live the adventure. So in the meantime, yes, these things are funny. And whatever comes our way, Charles, it's all okay. See, this is where we confront everything. And so people will say this, they'll say that. You know, it's like the Echoes, they'll say, oh, you're the mini master, or you're the cow, or you're whatever. You know, we get all these things. See, I'm not even a philosopher or a theorist. I'm the cow, or I'm, I'm this or that, you see. I'm the mini master, or I think I'm the new Mahanta, or something like that. I never said any of these things. But they imply that. So anybody can apply anything. So this is where we creatively step up and demonstrate. You know, it's just like the sun shining. Anybody can say anything about the sun. Oh, it's a theory. It's a philosophy, whatever. Anybody can say that too. Is it that? You know, the best part is, is to be able to recognize what the sun is demonstrating and stand where the sun is. Stand right in the middle of the sun and see how the sun sees. See how the is sees. Stand in the middle of it. Where is the center? The center is you. Stand in the center of yourself and see it. So in the meantime, creation is a funny thing. You know, it's like little kids playing with blocks. But again, we need creation to wake up that's the best part so we don't you know I would suggest that you don't want to make what is in creation bigger and more real 
than the true reality of life is. So this is your brave and bold adventure to decide, are you going to make this true reality and the presentation of what you decide to do more real, better, and bigger than what exists here? Well, we can do this, you see? And we're not pushing anything aside here, but as people wake up, you know, the old ways melt away. They really do. And people see that, oh, gee, it's all nothing. And, uh, you know, it's just like walking out into the sunshine. Hey, you know, there's a big sky out there, you know, but it's really here. People just have to see it. So I know that's a lot. But, yeah, these labels are going to be thrown all around. And that's, again, why I created the new presentation like I did, the best that I could. Because it's just a presentation. It's not any of these other things. So it really goes back to that. And just like we're presenting the all-natural environment. Hey, the natural environment is what it is. It makes sense. We pivot off of that. And so, again, what label is that? Is that theory? Is that philosophy? No. No. It's actually, it just makes sense. And just like you and I, we have a mind. We have, you know, we have these five bodies with uh, emotions and uh, an intuitiveness. And, and eventually we recognize our real awareness. Well, yeah. In the meantime, yeah. We go through the process of confrontation with dealing with these funny things. And it's just like a little kid coming up to a person and looking up at them, you know, a little kid that's about two and a half feet tall. He looks up at the adult and says, uh, are you a policeman? Uh, are you a lifeguard? What are you? You see, he doesn't know. So again, this is a, the exchange of communication and I, of ideas and eventually uh, a real recognition of each other. That's the best part. And then when we recognize the true reality life is. So in the meantime, yes, we're going to go through this labelization. And it doesn't matter. It's all funny stuff. But we keep, we keep you might say, marching on and letting the world know that, hey, there is something, uh, you know, wonderful. And we are. We're wonderful worldwide educators. And we're, we're presenting something wonderful. And, uh, but you have to see it. That's it. You can have any idea you want, but you really have to see it. And once you see it, you'll see that all the ideas don't matter. <laughs>